Now for a glimpse of ag around the world. Colombia will soon be getting more U.S. beef. The country recently lifting its ban on U.S. beef originating from states where avian flu was detected in dairy cattle. As U.S. Meat Export Federation President and CEO Dan Hallstrom explains, Colombia had placed a ban on beef from 13 affected states. And in April of 2024, uh, we started experiencing some uh, access challenges uh, related to the uh, H5N1 issue. Uh, and we were up to 13 states that were not allowed to uh, to export to Colombia. So so what, what has happened is that, uh, you know, we were averaging about three million dollars a month in exports. And once we got once we got through April and into these restrictions, we're down to less than a million dollars a month. So uh, Obviously, a, a very adverse impact there. Hallstrom says science was on the side of the U.S., which showed no evidence of the virus in U.S. ground beef. The reopening comes after months of work by U.S. officials, and USMEF adds now there is work to be done to regain market share. Well, U.S. soybean farmers are working to expand export markets, not just for soybeans, but soybean meal. It's due to the expansion of the soy processing industry. A trade team from the Southeast Asia toured farms in Northwestern Corn Belt recently to check out this year's soybean crop, as well as build relationships. The group represented the Philippine livestock and feed industry. Buyers toured farms in North Dakota through Nebraska to see how farmers raise soybeans and their sustainability practices. They told us they prefer to buy soybeans and meal from states in the Northwestern Belt due to the high nutritional value. Based on the feedback of my nutritionist, they have the highest quality of amino acid particularly uh, the soya that soybean meal that we get from the U.S., particularly in the PNW. We do a lot of research on different ways uh, to feed it to different livestock that traditionally might not eat meal. And uh, then, but we're also working on, on getting export markets established to, uh, to use as much meal as we can out of the area. The Philippines is a top U.S. meal customer, and they saw firsthand the quality of the soy product they're buying and say they are pleased to find a better crop than last year. They say the drop in soybean prices is attractive, but quality trumps all in the global market. Well, you've probably heard of 45Z, which is the tax credit for the domestic production of clean transportation fuels. It takes effect at the start of 2025. And we're still waiting on a lot of answers. What's taking so long? Well, that is our Chips Corner right after the break.